I want to talk about one thing you guys know, if you're accustomed to watching my YouTube channel, you know that I love talking about current games and games that I feel like real confidence with and very excited about. And Last of Us is obviously one of those titles. I love talking about the present. I love talking about the past, but I also love talking about the future of these games as well, where they're going, what we can do to try to help echo these games into existence and get them, you know, made and such. One of those being, though, for me, guys, is, of course, the future of the Last of Us franchise. So, obviously, guys, you know, we're probably a long way off from The Last of Us Part 3 because Factions hasn't even been released yet, no DLC's been released yet, uh, things of that nature. We're still, like, we're in the very early days of The Last of Us Part 2. However, I want to talk about where will this series go um, that, you know, leading up to The Last of Us Part 3. And, and like, where where will they decide to, you know, see this journey continue in one capacity or another? So in order to do that, we got to talk about the present, what we know so far. And so what we know, guys, and as I've said before, guys, this show is going to be, of course, going to have, you know, a number of spoilers from the game. So if you haven't beaten the game yet, or if you don't mind hearing about spoilers from The Last of Us Part Two, you know, you've been warned at the end of the day. But with that, guys, so at the very end of The Last of Us Part Two, we know that Ellie's playing the guitar. She puts the guitar down and uh, near the windowsill, and she leaves the house, right? because Dina and the baby have left. And there's a lot of question marks there as to, it's very open-ended as to where's Ellie going. Is she going to go find Dina? Is she going to finish the job that she started with, you know, trying to take Ellie out or uh, Abby out? Or is she just doing something, you know, or is she going to do something else? Um, at the end of the day, I felt, guys, that when I was playing that last sequence in The Last of Us Part 2, she's playing the guitar, and it's kind of like her memory of Joel, obviously, her last memory. She puts it down near the windowsill. She doesn't put it back in the box, that being the guitar. She puts the guitar at the windowsill, which tells me, guys, that the story's still open. She hasn't closed that chapter in her life. She's still thinking about Joel. She, you know, Joel is still on her mind. So she's going back out there. And essentially, there's a lot of road left to travel, in my opinion. That's kind of what I got from it. It's like, look, I'll come back and play this guitar again. Maybe when the job's done, when she goes after Abby again. Or maybe they join forces. Abby and Ellie work together to take down the entire, you know, infection as a whole or whatever the case might be. Because at the end of the day, guys, we don't really know a lot of the origins, at least, of the infection. And so I think in The Last of Us Part 3, where's the story going? Well, I believe that Ellie very well may be trying to figure out where this infection started. Is this something kind of like Resident Evil where, you know, there's a big corporation that, you know, spread this virus, this disease throughout society, and now you're trying to kind of maneuver your way through it? The question is now, is Ellie, or is she going to go out there and kind of figure out who started it? you know, almost, or, you know, the reasoning for it or how to stop it at the end of the day. Because they gave us this indication that now that Abby's dad is dead and they had to kill Ellie essentially to get, extract the virus from her or, you know, her, the host so that they could create the cure, they kind of made it sound like that was their one chance to do that. So now it's almost like, okay, now they moving forward, Maybe they ought to go after whoever started it or where it started, the origins of it. And that will be something very interesting to me if they kind of get into a corporation or something of that nature in The Last of Us Part 3 that started it all. Because I think that's where this story is ultimately heading. We know that, you know, with Naughty Dog, their games that they've done or, the, you know, as far as their big franchises that they've had, Uncharted, guys, We've, of course, seen four titles out of Uncharted, as you know, including um, or not including The Lost Legacy. So what I'm getting at is, I believe 
that there's a chance that they're thinking we're going to try to make The Last of Us a three or four, maybe even five game type of series once again. I wouldn't be surprised. I think there's so much mystery here. I think there's so much lore. There's a lot of story still left to be told here with the, within The Last of Us. And that's why I don't think that we're done yet. We're, we're far from the end, guys, in my opinion, with The Last of Us. And that gets me really excited about the future. But where is it going? And I think that The Last of Us Part Two really set it up. It set up, look, the story is still open. The book is still open. She could have easily just taken that guitar put it in the case, close the case, and say, look, I'm moving on from Joel, which we could have interpreted different, interpreted differently. However, she put that guitar near the windowsill and rested it against the windowsill and left the house. What that's telling me is she's probably going to, there's still a lot of, you know, road left to travel. Essentially, I think she's going to go try to get Dina back. And then on top of that, maybe try to figure out what started all of this. Or maybe she's not going to go get Dina because Dina was so against her going after Abby in the first place once again and trying to end this thing once and for all. But, you know, obviously the things didn't pan out the way, you know, Ellie had expected or, of course, Dina. And now Dina's gone. Who knows where she is? I got to say, after beating The Last of Us Part 2, this has put me at an all-time high of excitement for where The Last of Us Part 3 could go. Because I think the amount of directions that Naughty Dog can go in now, it's so open-ended. It's so There's so many options here. You could go with, you know, I mean, you could go after what, where the infection started. You could go after Abby once again. You could go find Dina and along your journey of finding Dina, it's almost like, you know, you're trying to find her the entire game in, in The Last of Us Part 3. I mean, there's so many different directions that they could go. The third game very well might be Ellie going across the United States once again to find Dina and the baby. And then the fourth game might be they go to try to end it all, that being, of course, the, the origins of the infection. And maybe the infection just started out of nowhere. Maybe it was, you know, something that wasn't a big corporation. Maybe it was something, to, you know, totally different that just happened almost like, you know, not, not uh, naturally, but just happened out of, you know, nature has its way at times. And so, you know, there's always these possibilities, guys, with a game like The Last of Us. And there, it's called The Last of Us for a reason. And that's why I totally, you know, felt that Joel was probably going to die at some point in one of these games because it's The Last of Us. You know, there's not that many people left and there's going to be pain. There's going to be, you know, difficult sequences throughout the course of the history of The Last of Us. And so I think it's important that we kind of preface that, guys, because that is what The Last of Us is. This is a this is a story that is potentially going to have a lot more, whether you're talking controversy or things that happen, no one is safe in this universe. And that's very clear with what Naughty Dog has done. Could Ellie die in the next one? Could Abby? Could Dina? Could, I mean, any one of them at any moment, it could be over. And that is, there's something to be said for a game like that, guys. Uh, this isn't just some, you know, uh, cookies and rainbows types of, of franchises. This is a very dark, visceral, uh, you know, story that is a thriller, that is a horror, that is absolutely gut-wrenching, unnerving, tense, unlike anything we've ever played before. And that's why I love The Last of Us and I love the direction they're going in here. And what that could like lead to, where that could, you know, how that looks in The Last of Us Part 3 is something I am incredibly excited about. But let me know. What do you guys think, guys? Where do you think this story is headed? With The Last of Us Part 3, pretty much, I mean, it's all but confirmed at this point, but I believe it's definitely going to be coming at some point. Where do you guys think the story's going? Where's Ellie going? Why is the guitar left near the windowsill? What do you guys think interpreting that fi those final sequences in The Last of Us Part 2? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more The Last of Us content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.